A BBC investigation has discovered how a major Conservative Party donor was involved in one of Europe's biggest corruption scandals. Leaked documents reveal how Mohamed Amersi, who's given half a million pounds to the Tories, worked on a series of controversial deals for a Swedish telecoms company. The Swedish company was later fined almost a billion dollars for bribery. Well, Mr Amersi denies any wrongdoing. The BBC worked alongside the International Consortium of Investigative Journalists and The Guardian on the investigation, as Richard Bilton reports. Mohamed Amersi is wealthy and well-connected. Here he is talking about the dangers of corruption. Corruption is a very, very heinous crime. Every stolen dollar robs the poor of an equal opportunity in life. So where did Mr. Amersi's wealth come from? Some of it comes from this company in Sweden. A company fined almost a billion dollars for bribery. Tellier was prosecuted over a corrupt telecoms deal. The firm paid $220 million to an offshore company secretly controlled by Gulnara Karimova, the daughter of the then president of Uzbekistan. The American authorities described it as a $220 million bribe. We've now obtained documents that show how Mr. Amersi was involved in the deal. In one email, Atelier Boss writes, I do not want to be involved in the day-to-day -day negotiations, so maybe you can handle it. Mr. Amersi responds, sure, I agree. And here's Mr. Amersi's invoice for his part in Project Uzbekistan. He got a success fee of $500,000 for his work. Mr. Amersi's lawyers said the offshore company had been vetted and approved by Tellier and that its involvement did not raise any red flags to Mr. Amersi. We've also seen evidence about how he was involved in other Tellier deals. We've got details of an internal report about a consultant referred to as Mr. XY who was paid more than $65 million by Tellier. The payments included expenses for lavish corporate entertainment. They were usually between $100,000 and $200,000 a month and were not evidenced by copies of receipts. The internal report recommended Tellier's relationship with Mr. Amersi be terminated. Who is Mr. XY? That is Mohamed Amersi. He has been involved in one of the biggest corruption scandals that we have seen in Sweden in modern times. It is important that people around him, that trust him, that listen to him, understand the whole context of his career and wealth. Mr. Amersi's lawyers said his fees and expenses were entirely in keeping with industry practice and that Tellier did not require regular sight of the receipts. They say it's entirely false to suggest his contract was terminated. All of this matters because Mr. Amersi has given more than half a million pounds to the Conservative Party. This morning, Boris Johnson gave his reaction. I see that uh, story today, but all I can say on that one is that all these donations are, are vetted in the, in the normal way in accordance with rules that were actually set up under, under the Labour government. So uh, we, we vet them the whole time. A Conservative spokesman said government policy is in no way influenced by the donations the party receives. They are entirely separate. We are motivated by the priorities of the British public acting in the national interest. Richard Bilton, BBC News.